compressional forces can cause breaking or faulting of lithologic layers, or they can cause buckling or folding of those same layers. The determining factor as to whether or not you'll have what's called brittle deformation as opposed to ductile deformation has to do with the temperature that this is happening at. Here I have a piece of Silly Putty. If you haven't used Silly Putty before, it's very similar to chewed gum, except for it's not as gross to be handling uh, Silly Putty as it is handling a piece of chewed gum, in that when it's really, really warm, it'll stretch easily, or when it's colder, or when the action upon it is very quick, whoop, there we go, it'll break rather than stretch. So that's the difference between ductile or malleable versus brittle deformation. Brittle deformation happens near the surface where it's colder and you're going to have breaking and faulting of materials. Ductile transformation happens deeper in the surface where it's warmer. If you were to see an outcropping of folded, bent over themselves layers of rocks, you know that that happened when that layer was deep in the Earth's surface because that's where it was warmer and able to fold rather than break. What's happened since the time of the folding is that it's been uplifted and eroded such that you can see it. But folding needs to happen where things are more ductile, deeper within the Earth's crust.